This is the nervous system, the neuron. This represents the cell body or soma of the neuron with the nucleus. These will be your dendrites. Dendrites, they are going to receive messages. The dendrites are going to send a message to the cell body and the message is going to be sent from the cell body via the axon. This is the axon. This is that structure, the axon. And that is going to send messages. It sends a motor message. The axon, you can see it's insulated or surrounded by myelin sheaths. This is called myelination. These are the terminals of the axon from other neurons. This is how they communicate, neuron to neuron. Cell body, dendrites, 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 axon. Thank you. This represents the ventricles within the brain. This is how we're going to transport our cerebral spinal fluid. We have our lateral ventricles, right and left lateral ventricle. Then we have our third ventricle, the third ventricle. And then we have our fourth ventricle, the fourth ventricle. Right and left lateral ventricles, third ventricle, and fourth ventricle. This is your spinal cord. This is the brain. This is the spinal cord. The spinal cord. The yellow structures and the white structures here are your spinal nerves coming off of the spinal cord all the way down. And you can see those nerves all here. Okay. There's three structures that we should be familiar with on this model. So our spinal cord begins at the brain stem and it is going to progress all the way down between L1 and L2. At L1 and L2, you're going to see this cone-shaped structure, this cone-shaped structure. There's a cone or a tapered region here. This is going to be your conus medullaris. This signifies the termination of the spinal cord. It goes from the brain stem through the foramen magnum all the way down between your vertebrae L1 and L2 and terminates here at this region called the conus medullaris. This structure here that's off of the conus medullaris, just this one little thin fiber that's going all the way down, is called your phylum terminale. It is an extension of your Pia matter, the phylum terminale, it's going to go all the way down and connect to our coccyx, the toe bone. All of the fibers that are surrounding that phylum terminale is called your cotta equana. It looks like your horse's tail. So all of these fibers here, all of these fibers here are called the cotta equana. And they're also going to attach all the way down at the coccyx. Thank you. This is a cross section of the spinal cord. We have the spinal cord here. We have the gray matter, which is actually gray. It is going to be the inner portion of the spinal cord, and it is also considered the gray matter. It is this is the outer portion of the spinal cord and it is the white matter. These will be our spinal nerves in their roots. 
So here is our dorsal root of the spinal nerve on both sides. I know that this is the dorsal sensory root where our uh, receptors are going to send messages to. This is the dorsal root ganglia, the dorsal root ganglia. This is going to be the anterior or ventral motor region of our spinal nerves root. This is where motor output is going to begin. This is where it's going to send a message, a motor message via a motor neuron. This is our motor neuron, the ventral root, and it is considered to be anterior. Our dorsal sensory root is considered to be posterior. Thank you. This is a representation of our nervous system. The nervous system, specifically the central nervous system, is made up of the brain and the spinal cord. Our peripheral nervous system is made up of our nerves, the nerves. Let me show you some specific structures. Here is your spinal cord. Here we have our brachial plexus. Here's your cervical plexus. Here is your lumbar plexus. Here is your sacral plexus.